in love. Mm. And this is a many time I seem like a baby crying and the new mother doesn't know exactly how to deal with it. And come a grandmother or an aunt and she pick up the baby and all of a sudden the baby is calm and relaxed and smiling and laughing. So it's the same way we all feel without yeah. realizing that we feel that we've well, been we're loved. Feeling, yes. And sometimes I tell person, what do you feel from me? my hand is the love of God coming through my hand. Mm -hmm. And you can actually feel it. Mm -hmm. In interesting. Yes. Very interesting. I, I've only met one gentleman that you could, and, and it was another person made the same comment, you could feel the love coming out of their eyes. Absolutely. It was, and you could just go into their eyes beautiful and he, he used to be well he's still a rabbi and another woman said the same thing you could feel the love coming it's like a flow very mm. soft very relaxing just there so we can say is a love driven modality in any yes <laughs> love driven uh, we respond uh, you know prayer is a helps we we know that uh, you know they will test it actually when people who pray, uh, first thing we do, uh, one of the things is about just to explain what the Reiki or what is the energy, so maybe some, some people don't understand it. Okay. So I explain that once upon a time, about maybe 30,000 years ago, before we, there were only organized religions and existed, we had an ability to heal self and others by way of touching. Mm -hmm. And uh, so when the organized religions come about, so I guess the priests, the rabbis, whoever, they told us, no, no, you can't get in touch with God. Come to us. Oh, give us the, the middle man. Give us the money. Give us the money. Build us to the temple or the house. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then we suppose that we lost this ability because thousands of years. Uh, however, our body genetically designed to know, heal itself. To heal. Give you an example. When you hit your knee, the first thing you do is touch. Oh yes, rub it. <laughs> we we kiss our babies when when they kiss their boo boo, mm -hmm. because through. By the way, if you look at dogs or animals, they lick the wound. Yes. So it's similar for us that actually kissing, mm -hmm. same act of, uh, is a love and caring. Uh, so uh, what happened is that what I do when I train someone, when I teach Reiki to somebody, actually give them back what rightfully there is anyway. Mm. I'm right. not doing a favor mm -hmm. to anyone. I'm giving back to people the ability to heal themselves. Mm -hmm. Now all they have to do when they put them together and they touch themselves, now they actually something happened. Yes. Oh, now that you did this, um, there's a, a man that, that he, well, he'll, he'll have you do this, do this, and then bring the hands clasped. Yes. He says it, it makes a complete uh, circuit. So. Uh huh. And so it, it, that alone is very healing, to place the uh, hands like this sure. over the heart area. And before, when you were m talking about the touch, reminded me of Scripture. Jesus in Scripture, he was amongst the multitude, yes. and he says to one of the disciples, someone touched me. So the disciples said, of course, Master, look how crowded, the crowd, everyone. He said, no one, someone touched me in a different way, because he felt grace leaving him. Now, do you feel, when you're doing your healing work, do you feel something going on inside of you? Do you pay attention to that? Or talk to me. Okay. When I touch someone, actually, if they have a back pain, I feel the back pain. They you feel it? it. Yes. Okay. okay. However, I know this is not my Not my, yours. Not okay. mine. So I ask, do you have a pain in your back or yes. your right shoulder or your ear, left ear or right ear? Mm -hmm. And they will say, yes, how do you know? Because I just simply, because I become connected. Yeah. And there are times that the people actually swear to me that they feel that my hand's actually inside of their body. Although wow. there are, I'm touching you. Mm -hmm. I'm not yes. But what they feel is not my hand, actually is the energy mm -hmm. that's going yes. inside the body and they're doing what needs to be done. Uh, so this is a one aspect of, uh, so attunement is the way when I train someone, it's called an attunement. Mm -hmm. Now, attunement is a similar to actually, you imagine that you have a brand new car and you have a brand new radio in your brand new car, and when you turn it on, it's in a, actually static, until you turn the knob to the right channel, Z100. right? Z100. Can I say Z100? Okay. And then, for, and then you press a button, number one, this is six buttons, most radios, 
So you press button number one for the rest of life of your battery or your radio. Every time you press button number one, you get Z100. So in a way that when I, when I attune that is like a fine tuning of the body, in a moment that you say a keyword or a prayer that I ask you to say, this energy starts flowing for the rest of your life. Oh, no that, that's the best part for the rest. No medicines for the rest of our yeah. life. Beautiful. It's um, usually recommended for new mothers because imagine that when our baby is sick, we have become helpless. Yeah. We, we pray to God, mm -hmm. and I know that I used to be, a, I'm a father, but mm -hmm. when my, my babies were small and I, when they were sick, I would ask God to make me sick and make them healthy. Oh, heaven. Which is, which is the wrong thing to do. Yes. So the right thing to do is touch them <laughs> and then and hold them. I give my children when they were growing up back rub when they were feeling wrong and when they were sick. Oh, yes. When I asked them later, I said, what do you mean? I felt great. Every <laughs> time that you touched me, you uh, give me a So it's a, was a, it was in a genetic, I guess, part of me. To do. This is before I learn even. Isn't that interesting? It is. We, we all have that. Yes, we all I, ha I have two, two grandsons and a granddaughter, and as soon as I walk in, they don't even say hello. Oh, oh, I'm making an appointment. They want a back rub. <laughs> they want to be touched. Then sometimes they'll say to me, just do the tickle. Tickle means ever so gently, sure. barely touching. Exactly. They call it the tickle. And they will say to me that they feel no, something no. inside of them moving, mm -hmm. and I know it's energy. Of course. But isn't, isn't it wonderful? It is. So we all, I believe me, we all have that. Yeah. We all have some in a lesser, some greater. However, it can be enhanced and amplified. Ellie, I know that you brought some tools here. Now, um, these are your tools to this do your is work. I need to know the timing. Uh huh. G give me the timing so that I. Okay, yeah, we have this to get is, ready. This is called in a Tibetan singing bowl, mm -hmm. uh, which is actually, if you look at it, and it you, hold, you can hold it. Oh, it's definitely. A, it's in a heavy. Thank you, yes. It's made from a seven different alloy. Mm -hmm. uh, what it, the significance is actually it can heal our body within a vibration and sound. Because one day I was driving well, my... Let me, let me alert that he will... Um, we call it a bowl, am yes. I correct? Yes, Tibetan yes. singing bowl. The, the Tibetan sing, singing sing. bowl. And it's going to make a louder sound for my sound person in the back to be aware. Okay, um, should we do that now? So that no, we can, okay, we can, you let me when you're ready. Okay, so uh, I'm ready because he's ready. Sure. And it can actually can go on and on. It's an amazing, and this sound, uh, but I said that I was driving my car and I on the radio and I heard in a hospital in New York advertising that use sound and vibration to cure a cancer. Look at Using that. This. Look at that. So, that's, so this is actually a detection and then using other, okay, let's call it a stick, and it actually makes a different kind of sound. And it finds an actually the appropriate sound for a different part of the body or limbs. Actually, with that, I can actually pinpoint in a tumor. And also can actually get rid of it just by vibration and sound. Wow. Like, a, you know, when they, they break up the, the gold stones and the gold bladder yes. through sound, right? Yes, yes. So you can use that. And not just that, is, this is also for me is a, uh, actually my MRI or X-ray or CAT scan. I love that. I love when you said that. So if you, by the way, and there is no danger. No. <laughs> so if you stand up, I'm, I will I'm demo standing up. I'm going to okay. demonstrate on your back. And so I can tell, actually, I move your chair a little bit back. Mm -hmm. Close your eyes and okay. relax. battery back there. <laughs> I know, I know. Should I remove the back? No, no, sweetie, just okay, let's just relax. Okay, and I, exp and I tell it, did you felt any area that I'm moving down actually getting warmer or some area warmer? Yes, a as a matter of fact, I feel it. 
Feel it? I feel all the, yeah, around the spinal cord, warm. all the way down. Warm. warm. Yes. Yes. So what happens, those light. areas that are warm, that means there was a some, something is wrong. Uh huh. So for me, mostly. Should, should I remove no, no, it? Sweet. For me, mostly it's down here. Yes. Okay, that's your lower back. Is actually, <coughs> for me, is like really, your mm -hmm. curvature is too profound. Mm -hmm. So by, if you were coming to me, and I will show you certain exercises that actually you can, fix or push back this curvature mm -hmm. and because this one will affect also your hip and your, your legs. Mm -hmm. So I push your chair back. Okay. So okay. Are yeah. you going to do any more demonstrations? Uh, we have five minutes left. Sure. I'm going to actually, you sit down, I I'm going to put my hand on okay. your shoulders. Okay. First I say the prayer. May God bless you and give you a complete healing. So tell me please, what do you feel from my hand and your shoulders? Mm. Just presence of my hand or mm -hmm. something else? Is it a cooler or warmer? Slightly cooler. Slightly cooler, mm -hmm. okay. Um, Go ahead. Relaxing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just close your eyes and take a deep breath in through your nose, all the way down to your toes. Well, I'm feeling someplace else on th the top of my head. What wonderful. You see mm -hmm. that this energy is intelligent <laughs> enough to go where you need it most. Mm -hmm. Or everything that is, not, is actually traveling to the top of your head. Because actually I can show you something else mm -hmm. different. What do you feel from my hand? You're, and you're, I'm not touching you. Tell me what do you feel from my hand in your face. No, uh, well, I, I feel the warmth of your hand. When I touch you, is my hand cooler? Perhaps. Yes. Something here. What do you feel from my hand over your thymus? And what do you feel when I touch you? My hand is cold, and when I remove it, it's warmer. Mm -hmm. Your hand is cool. So it's nothing to do, the energy is nothing to do with my body temperature. Mm -hmm. So this is actually your thymus. Mm -hmm. And here is your immune system. If you want to really enlarge it, we're born with a large thymus. And as we grow older, it gets smaller and smaller. So by tapping on it 21 times, mm -hmm. by tapping on it, actually, we increase the size of your thymus. So then you can actually, this is the most simplest and the cheapest way to keep your body actually uh, strong. Mm -hmm. And tell me now what do you feel from my hand over your time is? So I feel the energy leaving through the top of my, my head. head. Okay, when I removed my hand, did you felt like I moved something out? Yes. Do you felt any sensation in one of your ears? No. Wonderful. So that means that you actually right now there is a nothing so dangerous to your life at this moment. Mm -hmm. That means, God forbid, you, you don't have any serious illness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but may I put my hand over your stomach? Yes. Tell me what do you feel from my hand and your solar plexus? Take a deep just, just radiation throughout the body. Like the energy is going up, down, sideways. Okay. Take a, t take a deep breath into where my hand is. Ah, let go. <sighs> One more. <sighs> let me know when something's slowly moving up from your stomach <sighs> toward your chest, your throat. <sighs> as soon as you feel any sensation in top of your head, let me know. I just feel relaxed. Tingling sensation in top of your head or pressure? No. Wonderful. Take another deep breath. And tell me what changed from my hand and your stomach or how your body perceive it now. Perhaps less pressure? Or less pressure. Mm -hmm. Although that might did not the pressure of 
So whatever was in your solar plexus. So just note that this is where our second brain is. We put our, the memories are here. The pain from your memory, our memories is stored here. Mm -hmm. We all accumulate this throughout the years and